Hello friends and welcome to Virtual Study Hub. Today is an exclusive video about Diana, the people's princess, for her 10th anniversary. I have also recorded her about her depression, her book, Diana, her true story, and also many things more. Don't blink or you will miss them. Diana, Princess of Wales, was born Diana Frances Spencer to John Spencer and Frances Ruth Roche. At the age of seven, she earned the title of Lady Diana Spencer when her father became John Spencer, 8th Earl of Spencer. In the year 1981, she married Prince Charles at the British throne. They had two sons, Prince William and Prince Harry. But the couple divorced in 1996. Diana died in an unfortunate car crash in the year 1997 on 31st August. Diana, Princess of Wales, was a member of the British royal family. She was the first wife of Charles, Prince of Wales, the heir apparent to the British throne, and the mother of Prince William and Prince Harry. Her activism and glamour made her an international icon and earned her an enduring popularity as well as an unpredicted public quantity. Extravagantly, her tumultuous private life. Diana was born into British nobility and grew up close to her family on the Sandringham estate. She was the youngest daughter of John Spencer and Frances Shandkite. In 1981, she married the Prince of Wales. She is still known today for her love of the common people even after 23 years of her death and we believe she will be known to the people even after that. Princess Shandkite was the mother of Diana, Princess of Wales and the maternal grandmother of Prince William and Prince Harry. She was born on 20th January 1936. In 1954, she married John Spencer and they had five children, Lady Sarah McConduel, Jane Fellowes, Baroness Fellowes, the Honourable John Spencer who died within 10 hours of his birth on 12 January 1960, Diana, Princess of Wales, Charles Spencer, the Earl Spencer. But the couple divorced in 1967 which had a big impact on Diana and Charles. Then she married Peter Shantkite in 1969 and the couple again divorced in 1990. She died on 3rd June 2004 due to Parkinson's disease. John Spencer, 8th Earl Spencer was the father of Diana, Princess of Wales. He was born in the year 1924. On June 1, 1954, John Spencer and Frances Ruth Roger younger daughter of 4th Baron of Fermoy, an Irish nobleman, were married in Westminster Abbey by Perky Herbert Bishop of Norwich. Queen Elizabeth II and other members of the royal family attended the wedding ceremony. They had five children, Lady Sarah McQuandle, Jane Fellowes, Baroness Fellowes, the Honourable John Spencer died within 10 hours of his birth, Diana, Princess of Wales, and Charles Spencer, 9th Earl Spencer. In 1978, Spencer suffered a severe stroke from which at one stage he was not expected to recover and which kept him in the hospital for 8 months. He died of a heart attack on 29 March 1992 and was succeeded by his son Charles, the brother of Diana, Princess of Wales, as Earl Spencer. Now let's get to know her husband, Charles, Prince of Wales, is the heir apparent to the British throne. He has been Duke of Rothesay and Duke of Cornwall since 1952. He is the eldest son of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. And he is the oldest and longest serving heir apparent in British history. He was just three years old when he became heir and his mother became queen. He was born at Buckingham Palace on 14 November 1948 as the first grandchild of King George VI and Queen Elizabeth post Leon. In 1981, he married Lady Diana Spencer and they had two sons, Prince William and Prince Harry. However, the couple divorced in 1996, partly due to Charles's extramarital affair with his former mistress, Camilla Parker Bowles. Charles married Camilla in 2005. Camilla's great-grandmother and Charles's great 
great grandfather Edward the Seventh and Alice Bell were also lovers. So you might tell they have a Mr. Serving, something like that. Charles can be king, assuming he outlives his mother. Princess Diana's engagement ring was something out of tradition. She was the first member of the royal family who didn't follow a ring tradition. The tradition says that the ring of the bride contains a family jewel from the royal family. Like Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's engagement ring has a diamond from one of the tiaras of her mother-in-law Princess Alice of Battenberg. Lady Diana chose a ring from a catalog. She said that the ring strongly resembles her mother's engagement ring, so she chose it. She continued to wear the ring even after her divorce. Now the ring is passed on to her daughter-in-law, Catherine, that is of Cambridge, the wife of her eldest son, Prince William, Duke of Cambridge. The wedding of Prince Charles and Lady Diana Spencer took place on Wednesday, 29 July 1981 at St. Paul's Cathedral in London, United Kingdom. Their marriage was widely built as the fairytale wedding and wedding of the century, which of course didn't help it to keep happy. It was watched by an estimated global TV audience of 750 million people on 29 July 1981. They had 27 wedding cakes and the centerpiece was a tall fruit cake with the Prince of Wales coat of arms and the Spencer family crust. Princess Diana wore a spectacular wedding dress designed by David and Elizabeth Emmanuel. It was so closely and secretly guarded and it is considered one of the greatest secrets in fashion history and even Diana was scared if it leaked out she had a spare dress in hand already the difference was that her spare dress had sleek and slim hands and sleeves rather than this giant massive 1980s sleeve when Princess Diana gave birth to two sons Prince William Duke of Cambridge and Prince Harry Duke of Sussex Prince William Duke of Cambridge Prince William was born on 21st June 1982. He is second in line for the throne since birth. He married Catherine Middleton, his university friend, in 2011. And the couple had three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. He was the first heir to be born in a hospital, go to kindergarten and go to foreign tour work with his parents. As Princess Diana didn't like to separate from her children. Prince Harry was born on 15 September 1984. He is sixth in line for the British throne. In 2018, he married American actress Meghan Markle in, and they have a son, Master Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. In 2020, the couple decided to resign from their royal duties as Harry saw the thing that happened to his mother after being chased by paparazzi and he wants to keep his family safe so he was he and his wife resigned from the royal duties as senior members of the royal family. But they still are but his son and he is still in the line of succession to the British throne. Princess Diana suffered from a condition called bulimia, which comes along with mental illness and the person is dependent on food to overcome it. Her struggle with bulimia demonstrated that she truly embodied what it meant to be the people's princess. She said about her bulimia to a royal biographer, Andrew Morton, who wrote it in her book, Diana, a true story, which we will come later. The bulimia started the week after we got engaged and would nearly take a decade to overcome. Diana said on the tapes, my husband put his hand on my waistline and said, oh, a bit chubby here, aren't we? And that triggered off something in me and that Camilla thing. The Camilla thing was her husband's relationship with Camilla Parker Bowles, whom he had met in 1970 at a polo match. The two dated, but the royal family didn't consider her to be a suitable marriage for a man who would be king one day. I didn't like myself. I was ashamed. I couldn't cope with the pressures, Princess Diana said on the tapes. I had bulimia for a number of years, and that's like a secret disease. It's a repetitive pattern which is very destructive. It was my escape mechanism. She even tried to commit suicide by cutting her wrist, throwing herself down the stairs while being pregnant with her first child, Prince William. 
revenge dress. Many of us think that a wedding dress might be her most famous one, but you are wrong. Her revenge dress is considered her most famous and most iconic looks. Her she wore a spectacular short dress popularly known as a revenge dress in 1994 at Met Gala. It's known as a revenge dress because on the day she wore it, Prince Charles confessed adultery with Camilla Parker Bowles. At first, when she made it, when she asked a fashion designer to make it, he was scared because the dress appeared too daring. But after her separation with the prince, she decided to wear it and she rocked the look. In an interview with Martin Bashir in 1995, counted as Lady Diana's first aired solo press interview by BBC, was kept a secret from Buckingham Palace. In that interview, Lady Diana told about her that her marriage was crowded. In a famous quote, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. She also expressed about the thought how she felt at the beginning. She told that when she was 19, about to be engaged with Prince Charles, she thought that she was extremely smart and she knew everything, but she was not. She also told that she wants to be the Queen of People's Heart and not the Queen of the United Kingdom. And she also reported her three famous quotes and also about her life as the Princess of Wales. When we talk about Princess Diana, we must include her charity work because she is known for that. Princess Diana was very much connected to the common people. Her extensive charity work also included campaigning for animal protection and fighting against the use of landmines. She was also the patroness of charities and organizations who worked with homeless, youth, drug addicts and the elderly. From 1989, she was the president of Great Ormond Street Hospital for Children. She received Royal Human Society Award for Bravery in 1995. Her biggest achievement Tragic death On Saturday, 30th August 1997, Diana left Sardinia on a private jet and arrived in Paris with Dodi Fayed, the son of Mohammed Al Fayed. They stopped there in Rote to London, having spent three, the predecessing nine days together on board Mohammed Al Fayed's yacht Jonical on the French and Italian Riviera. They had intended to stay there for one night. Mohammed Al Fayed was an essay owner of Hotel Ritz Paris. On the night of the death at 0023, Paul lost control of the vehicle and the entrance to Ponte de El Almatanel. The car struck the right-hand wall and then swept to the left to, of the two-lane carriageway before it collided the head on and with the 13th pillar that supported the roof. The car was traveling at the estimated speed of 65 miles per hour over the twice of the tunnel's 50 km speed limit. It then spun and hit the wall of the tunnel backwards and finally coming to a stop. The impact caused substantial damage, particularly to the front half of the vehicle, as there was no guardrail between the pillars to prevent this. Witness arriving shortly after the accident reported smoke. Though Diana did suffer only a cut on her shoulder and it looked like that she would live long, but she suffered from depression and that caused her to lose 20 pounds weight. And it is reported if she had more 20 pounds on her body, she would have survived the crash. And she also went into cardiac arrest. Her last words were, Where? What happened? Witness arriving shortly after the accident reported smoke. Witness also reported the photographers on motorcycles swam the medicine sitting before it entered the tunnel. And the next day, a shock would arrive on 31st August. 1997 that the people's princess the england's rose the queen of hearts was no more on 6 september 1997 the funeral of lady diana spencer started or princess diana started on saturday 6 9 8 am in london when the tenor bell of westminster abbey started tolling to the signal of departure of the cottage from king's instant palace 
About 2.5 billion people around the globe watched her funeral. She was laid to rest in a family estate, Altrof. May she remain forever in our hearts. So friends, that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share with your friends and subscribe our channel. Please don't forget to check out our other videos. And yeah, thank you for watching.